Hey, what's happening, y'all? Elton McFall here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Home of the Made in Montreal MR63 and MR73 Classic Metros, which uh, their uh, design, especially with rubber-tired wheels, was influenced from the Paris Metro, which was... Uh, which came out in 59. And uh, so these trains here, uh, they're called the MR63s because they started building them in 1963 by Canadian Vickers, which was right here in the Hochelaga district of Montreal. And uh, since these trains, uh, unfortunately, there's already over 200 of these cars that have been retired. Um, I figured, uh, well, I had been wanting to do another Metro painting because the other painting I did a couple of years ago was just a partial view of an interior. So I figured, why not do um, pull out all the stops, as they say, and go all the way and do, you know, a train, an actual uh, train, uh, like in a station or whatever. And uh, so I, I found that this is one of uh, three or four pictures I'm going to use for the drawing, and uh, it's got the right angle I want, clean. Uh, this is in the uh, the shop, uh, probably the Uville shop where to do the repairs and it's what's cool about this photo as you can see here is I believe this right here is a turntable and this can rotate the uh, the bogies once these are the bogies the wheels all together here these are sets and they could take them off and service them so anyway so yeah I just uh, started uh, doing the drawing right now Jeez, do I have enough light to show this? It doesn't seem very bright eh? yeah Anyway, you can see it's uh, starting off nicely and uh, it's coming along well. And uh, you can see all that dirt there. That's from the um, uh, from where I cleaned off the uh, the uh, pencil um, uh, lead uh, because the roof uh, wasn't uh, in the way I wanted it, and neither were the uh, top of the windows and doors. So I had to sort of redraw that part. Not a big deal. This is the easy part. When you do a painting, the easy fucking part for me anyway is drawing. I mean, I've been drawing it 30 years. And then some. Actually, no, wait. I'm 42, 35. Yeah, probably about 35 years. And uh, to do things differently, to do things a little differently. Uh, actually, by the way, I should point out uh, that this canvas I bought for only $4 at the dollar store. $4. 16 by 20. I mean, look, it's not as big as the Monarch, right? Here's the Monarch that I just finished uh, uh, last week. But, I mean, still, it's a decent size, not too small. And I, right now, I can't afford uh, 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 a canvas uh, this fucking big. I mean, these canvases, they go like 40 bucks almost, you know? I can't afford that right now. So I figured, you know what? What the hell? I, had to, I went to the dollar store. I had to buy a few things. I said, well, I want to get right into it and keep the groove going, you know? And uh, I got another project that I sort of started there it's a um, it's a model kit but I'm gonna leave that kind of as a surprise so we're gonna just I want to just uh, show you the other picture I want to use here there here's the other picture I found because see I want to do it in this context that is to say this is a picture from when the MR 63 trains were new right and they started hitting the tracks in 66 when the Metro was unveiled and uh, see they look different right the lights were not the same, uh, the bezel is not the same, the striping is not the same, the striping here is higher up than the other models, uh, the models are now when, see what happened is when these trains got old, right, like in 91 they were 25 years old, so they they pulled them all off and they rebuilt all of them, and uh, including the interiors, they were completely redone, and uh, so what they did is they changed the headlight bezels and made the headlight bezels square, that is the frame for the headlights, but the headlights are still around, this stripe is actually lower now it's about this it's about here and it goes like this so it's see it's just like straight almost and then this part here well this is all blue now right and uh, what else and I think the shade of blue is not the same I'm not positive about that um, so it's gonna be like that and uh, also I'm probably gonna do the destination sign also here uh, n you know not green or anything so it's gonna be period correct and also, just to show you how detailed and anal I am in my creative ideas and my paintings, that's why you can see the... By the way, I put this painting on eBay, eh? and I'm not shipping it, so if you're in Montreal, you're near Montreal, you can come to Montreal, come and get it. So I got it on eBay for a thousand bucks, and frankly, I'm not going to sell it for less, because look, if I compare this painting, right, with my Peterbilt uh, 3, uh, 6, 359 wrecker here, you can see there's a big difference of work here involved, right? There's still a lot of work in this. 
but there's much more in this guy, much more precision. Okay, so now we'll go into the other picture I want to show you here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Pictures, pictures. Well, I'm just okay, so here's a picture I took a few days, well, one of a few pictures I took a few days ago at uh, Jolie Kurt, just to show you how I think outside the box. It goes to show you that a guy like me is definitely single, don't have no girlfriend or married, because I don't know if you could come up with these crazy ideas. No, excuse me, genius ideas, not to brag. Uh, uh, you know, of the way to do things, as they say, thinking outside the box. Now, I took this picture on the green line at Jolie Kerr Station uh, in the Villa, in the um, Côte Saint Paul district of, of Montreal. And if you can see here, right, of this MR73, which is almost the same thing. And why did I take these pictures? Because, yep, you guessed it, I want to do my train like that. That is to say, you know, part of it, the front of it, like that bright blue lit up in the low sun. Because, you see, this is one of only two stations where this it's, it's this close to um, the ground. And, therefore, there's the most sunlight that comes in. Well, there's Angrignon also, but they don't get no direct sunlight on the trains because uh, all the windows are on the sides, you know. Uh, whereas this one, there's a lot of windows overhead in the middle, just like at, um, um, well, you know, uh, Champ de Mars. So, now obviously, the way I'm going to do it, it's not going to be all this shade from the, you know, the structure of the window frames and all that shit. No, 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 no. And, uh, but... It's gonna, I don't know how long it's gonna take because I mean, you look at this, there's a lot of fucking details in this. It's like when I did that train for uh, my friend Joe in New Jersey there, and man, that's that was a ton of work. But, um, I, I think it, I think it might work out pretty good. And also, not only that, um, you know, I, I was looking, I was drawing this out, and I'm like, you know, I'm so used to drawing like this. I don't know, it can be annoying to draw or paint on a wall or a canvas. I don't know why, but I'm just, I think I've always been more comfortable like this. And I think I might be able to, to just swing it like that. You know, I'm going to see. I'm not positive, but it might it might work well. I think it may be, especially since this is a much smaller scale than what I'm used to doing. Yeah, so, uh, well, I'm excited about it. Yeah, so far so good. And whatever you see is flawed, well, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's a skeleton, you know? It's like a blueprint, basically. Uh, <laughs> you can tell this is a $4 fucking uh, canvas, by the way, because look at the look at the uh, the frame, uh, the wood frame of it, how it made an indentation in the canvas itself right there, see? And at the bottom, too. So I don't think I'm going to buy that again, actually, because that might actually decrease the value of this thing a bit, too. And look at the corners also. Oh, yeah. Not good. Well, anyway, most of that's going to be fucking dark anyway, so whatever. Okay, guys, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, and that's, uh, there you go. There you go. That's what uh, comes the advantages of not uh, having a job job <laughs> sometimes. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Uh,